for coming here. For, thank you for all the Jewish organizations that have been organizing this, the JCRC. Um, as we stand here today in the state of Israel, we have six million Israeli citizens under attack, under indiscriminate attack of rockets fired by Hamas and other terrorist organizations. While Israel is doing its utmost to defend our civilians, with uh, the great development of the system, civil, uh, the Iron Dome that was developed by Israeli scientists and supported by the government of the United States, we are we are here defending our, our citizens with this great system that is saving numerous numerous lives. What is proportionate is that Israel would indiscriminately fire at the Gaza Strip? No, Israel is practicing the most humane way of conduct of today's warfare. Israel is sending pamphlets, Israel is trying to protect the, the, the civilians, and Hamas is victimizing them. You know, I want to tell you that this morning and yesterday, the passages to the Gaza Strip through which we send food and, medic and medicine and, and, and fuel to the Palestinians have been attacked by Hamas because they want to prevent, they want to cause suffering, they want the, the world community to put pressure on Israel. But I, I have news for you. The international community is with us. The United States is with us. President Obama, Secretary Kerry has shown, have shown their support. Chancellor Merkel has shown her support. Prime Minister Cameron has shown his support. President Hollande of France has, has shown his support. We stand united today because we know we are all fighting the same threat. The threat of Muslim extremist terrorists that are trying to ruin our lives. But be sure, rest assured, that Israel will survive this challenge. We will survive this challenge because we love life. Because we sanctify life. Yes, from time to time people are, are, are being killed and it's each life that is being taken is a tragedy for us. It's a great tragedy. We sympathize with the people of the Gaza Strip because they have been sequestrated by Hamas. They have been abducted by Hamas. Just like they abducted our children. They are abducting the whole population of the Gaza Strip. Today, the support for Hamas within the Gaza Strip in the latest poll is less than 15%. 70% of the population in Gaza want Hamas to stop. And we are doing an effort together with the administration, together with the Egyptian government. You know that even Egypt has identified Hamas as a, as a terrorist organization. And they are, we are working together, even with the backing of the Arab League, to bring to a ceasefire. So imagine, we have Egypt with us, we have the Arab League supporting a ceasefire, and we are calling, come to the table right now, in order to achieve what we want to achieve, a ceasefire. We don't want to go back to the Gaza Strip. We want the Palestinians to rule themselves, but we have to trust them that we rule in a humane way, that we will not, they will not fire rockets at our citizens. So again, thank you very much for this. I, I want to apologize in the name of uh, Ambassador Ron Dermer. He is in meetings with the administration and right now couldn't uh, disengage. But uh, uh, he's thankful, he's, uh, you have seen it. I want to, to go into the internet side of the embassy. I want you to go to Twitter uh, and to continue your great support also in the net and not only here physically. Thank you very much.